I like that that blah 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 sound. I don't like the ones where it'd be like <laughs> like this just sounds weird to me. And that's what my car sounds like right now. So we made a Gen 4 video on how to get it to idle properly after cam. So we are going to do the same thing here with a Gen 3 vehicle. First step is always the idle. Um, some people will throw their idle all the way up to a thousand when they put a big cam in and that is never ever needed. Uh, 800 is a good starting point. Me personally, uh, my personal cars, I try to get them to idle close to 700 as long as they don't bog from a stop. Next step, you're looking at your idle airflow. Okay, and your idle airflow, a lot of times, I only modify it from here down. Um, you're going to want to add roughly 20% as a starting point. And then you're going to want to take from here to here, and you're going to want to even that out. So that was the smooth transition. Now, after you start your car, if it wants to die, you want to add to this table. If it wants to idle way too high uh, and not idle down, you want to subtract from this table. And I would do it in increments of 1.05 or 0.95 uh, after this initial. Um, the next step is your startup airflow. Same thing, um, you're going to want to add a little bit here. And I actually make this all one here. Okay, grab this whole thing. And we take 10%. Now, if after this change, you still have to hit the gas pedal to start it, you want to add more. Now, if you go to start it and the RPMs shoot way up, you want to take a little bit away from this table. Let's see here. Spark, cranking spark. Okay, um, this actually all looks pretty good here. Typically, you want to be above five degrees uh, in the starting area, which you are here. Okay, fuel, uh, cranking fuel. Uh, if for some reason you have a little bit crazier build, and no matter how much air you take away, you still seem like you're not getting enough fuel, you can add to here. Now, if you seem to have way too much air, and you can't get rid of it, and you add more fuel, you can add to this number, or add to this table. Uh, from there, your idle sound uh, is your overspeed, underspeed. These are limiter tables uh, that use Spark to limit the amount of movement the cam does up and down. Um, by making these numbers here more negative, you will have more of a cam sound. By making them less negative, you will have a cleaner sound. So if you were to make these five, your car would chop less. If you were to make these negative 35, your car would chop more. And you have to do the other table as well, and this would be the exact same way. Five degrees for a cleaner sound, 35 degrees, or in between, for more of a cam sound. And that's basically it. You just keep making changes to these tables uh, till you get where you want to be. Uh, the only thing that I forgot to add here is idle spark vance. Um, 18 to 20 degrees typically for most cams for idle spark advance. Um, you may have to add more if it's a larger cam in basically this area here. And you go like this and same thing. Smooth it out a little bit. Same thing, smooth it out a little bit. Nice transition. You can do that in both of these tables here. Uh, and basically that is the basics for a Gen 3 um, idle tuning after you do a cam.